All right, so I guess we'll go to the next and probably last match for tonight, and I shouldn't update this. The Sands of Time, which is an interesting map, which I guess I could probably go for spiders on, because it's a good spider map. So I shall do that. Okay, so this kind of map, a little big, but, hmm. Not really sure there's much point in caring about commanders since I don't really upgrade them too much. But this is a small enough map, I can probably get away with using the Guardian Commander, and I will. At least I'll use it, I don't know if I can get away with it. Oh, sheesh, maybe not. That's better. Hey, that's the big advantage of the Engineer Trainer. You don't have to move as much. Although, yeah, I'll do that. So one thing about this map, too, is that it's very difficult to figure out where to actually build power. At least right in your base. I suppose you can move out, but then you don't get the overdrive as easily. Oops. That's not supposed to be a thing. All right, so let's let's go Venom Red back. It's a bit of a risky play, but let's see anyway. Maybe it'll work. Mostly it's a risky play because it does work well against basic raider units on this on a map like this. That seems pretty plausible. I'm pretty sure that Spring's going to go for that. On the other hand, it doesn't work especially well against anything tanky or any defenses. Well, it works okay against defenses, but it's really hard to make work against defenses. Right, so actually, put this on one. I've had this weird habit of auto grouping venoms and redbacks to two when, for the most part, I put offensive units on one and defensive on two, just depending on what they're doing at the moment. It's just for some reason I have still had that habit with the spider factory and shields. So shield versus spider. Oh, get that radar! Get that radar! Come on! Uh, yeah, I got the radar. Awesome. I know it sounds kind of weird. It's like, why did you care about the radar? Because information's everything in this game. Well, not everything, but it's a huge amount of this game. Especially when I'm playing Spiders, and Spider Plot Factory is all about winning the information war. And then getting ambushes, and otherwise knowing what your opponent's up to. Seriously, fleas are practically a map hack. It is wonderful. For the Spider player. For everyone else, it's a pain in the butt. For the Spider player, it's great. But that's fine, because I see no reason to give sympathy to, to my opponent right now, because I'm playing against them, and I'm trying to win. Okay, know where they're expanding. And I know that I'm actually not expanding at all! Whoops. Or barely expanding, at least. Actually, no, wait. Then do that thing. Okay, do the thing first, and... Wow. Cruelty to dirtbags. took long enough. Actually, I'm kind of annoyed that that happened, because it means that the dirtbag basically wasted a bunch of my time, and now my opponent can really prepare, because they know that I'm going for Venoms. Granted, they know I was going Spider, so they kind of already knew I was going for Venoms. Okay. There's an ex-worker. You build the factory. You help build up the factory, I should say. And you're on stuff, you're on stuff, you're... Thank you, Flea, for scouting out these bandits. Now I know exactly what's going on. Well, not exactly, but I know more than I did before, and that's still useful. Scouting is super handy. Okay, that's enough energy. Build more metal. We need more metal. Energy's good. Okay, and one, and move. 
Oh, darn redbacks are slow as molasses. I mean, now I know where things are, and I know they have rogues. Probably throw in some recluses. Build a few of the... Okay, that's probably a few too many. At this stage. Move. Actually, you know what? No, you two are on defense. You you guys go on defense. We'll keep keep the offensive ones. Haha, <laughs> the rogue went over the hill too early. This is what's great about Spider in this map. Hills make skirmishers not useless, but definitely far less useful than they would be. Huzzah for hills. Though granted, my flea's not in the best position to figure out what's going on. So let's let's move a little scouting units here. This is why defensive. This is why I'm running some units on defense. And actually... Okay. No, you go on three and move forward. I want you in secondary offense. And this is kind of what I meant about defensive stuff. Although, admittedly, with that hill there... Yeah, good luck with that, rogues. I mean, yeah, rogues. Good luck. Where the heck are you? Alright, get rid of that Lotus right away. More damage can be dealt. And hey, it's a commander! A juicy commander that my spiders can bite into and drain of all its vital fluids. Like every good spider wants to do. Okay. Note that I do not endorse necrotizing fasciitis. Where the heck is that commander? They were over here. Oh, right, they probably, they jumped. Probably as, just as I looked away, they jumped. I have hills on my side. Aha! I mean, I realize normally skirmishes would work really well, but not when I have hills on my side. Same with you here. Oops. Well, okay, I guess probably should have paid a bit more attention to what was going on. You retreat! Where are my redbacks? You join... Actually, you, no, you all join defense. Get back here. Deal with this stuff. I forgot to build a defense. Shoot. Sa ah, you didn't save it. You're useless! What kind of hero are you? Oh, shoot. Need more stuff building factory. Need more stuff building power, coming to look, come to think of it, too. Ah, shoot. Get on the hill, stay behind the hill, you work well behind hills. Oh, wait. Get on the hill, on the ridge of the hill. The one problem with spiders, of course, is that they are slow. Notoriously so. But the upside is, like I said, they have map hacks. So it's basically, you play knowing exactly what your opponent's going to do, or at least in theory, because I actually don't really know. And then, you know, I'm actually going to switch. I'm going to add an air plant. I feel like I need one right now. I also feel like I need you to rebuild stuff. You rebuild things, and then you stop things from being built. And you continue to attack. Just, just do the thing. Actually, fight up to the ridge and no further. And you're on three. Actually, I want you on four, because I want you getting rid of this thing. Oh, and how about that? They already went for air. Very well. Not surprised. Map like this. I mean, you want to go for air fairly early. Although, I mean, I actually kind of was surprised since I didn't build up raises or anything to deal with this, but I don't build defense as much. It's, it's this weird habit I still haven't gotten out of. Not building defense as much. Okay, approach from here. Oh, wait a sec. What am I doing? I have fleas. That... It's much better than it sounds. Alright, there we go. This is... This is what you're supposed to do. You inflict fleas on your opponent. 
Because that's what spiders have to really get rid of this stuff. It's loads and loads of fleas. Not really a spider, but it works on the... Oh, come on, you. There we go. Actually, no, you guys are on one. And, yeah, the rest of you are on two. There we go. All right, you're bringing to build defenses, darn it. I lost my commander. I didn't even notice I lost my commander. <sighs> These have no idle workers, but I don't really have any workers to begin with, so that's not that much of an improvement. Okay. Anyways, you may notice I'm considerably more confident that I'm playing spiders. Not the best factory in the world, but certainly one of the ones I know well. This is weird. I like, find it weird that I know how to play spiders more confidently than pretty much any other factory in the game, but yeah, I do. Actually, I'm going to think of it. I want you to build me a vulture. Emergency vulture. Because fleas aren't really cutting it anymore. Although they are pretty good against these. I probably should be building more of them. Not just for scouting, I mean, like, for actual harassment, because it seems like... Yeah, that actually seems like a pretty good idea. Oops. Alright. You all join group one, or become group one, I guess. Deal with these guys. Deal with all the rogues. Make them respect me. Actually, you guys don't deal with the defenders. That's a bad idea. Rain Reckless is left. They can deal with the defenders. And you, Scout. That's what I need you to do. And... The... This? Okay, kill the things. Wow, that was painful. Are there races over here? No, there are not. I guess I kind of know where everything is right now, don't I? What I want is those ravens. Shoot. Oh, wait a sec. I just realized they're pretty open, actually. You provide covering fire. Nope, that's bad. That's really that was way that was a very terrible idea. I might have at best convinced Sprung that I'm kind of hopeless when it comes to any flea usage or have no fleas left. Of course, he probably knows I I definitely have fleas left. I mean, why wouldn't I, really? When it comes down to it, there's no reason not to have fleas. Especially when your opponent is going entirely on Actually, I'm going to get a crab. Bit of weird timing, but I'm going to get a crab. I auto group you guys. Oh, shoot. This is where... Okay, this is where I have a bad read. Although it looks like... No, those are bandits too. Those are all bandits. Well, at least I had some of these left. Not completely hopeless. I would like if you were to spread fire. Ah, we baited out the bombers! Kill the bombers! Or try? Please? Pass nicely. Crap. Apparently asking nicely does not make miracles happen. Oh, come on, get the thing. I don't care if stuff's been recently destroyed. Rebuild! Rebuild, you fool. Okay, I guess the crab is going to take a little while. Honestly, I don't think the crab is ever going to come out this game. I'm seriously doubting it. Ah, uh, well. I mean, Sprung is like top... Sprung is top 10, so I'm not surprised I'm not winning. I really did not expect to win. Just because, well, you know, top 10.
Okay, is there anything I'm missing? Ah, shoot. Okay, how many of you guys are there? Where are you guys? One down here and one in production. Okay, that's two. I don't think that's really enough for any useful purpose. Yeah, they baited on my vamp, my Swiss. So yeah, I'm just gonna call it. Uh, they probably took the map, didn't they? Oh, it didn't take that much of the map. Sheesh. At least I contested the map. I can feel good about that. Sprung keeps winning without taking very much of the map. I'm noticing. It's, it seems to be mostly what Sprung's doing is they kind of know enough about what's going to happen typically in a game plan that they just they are just one step ahead of me the entire time, which I'm not surprised by since I get enough practice. But no, I'm, why am I making excuses? Forget excuses. Sprung is just one step ahead of me. Sprung is being one step ahead of me, and that was the thing I needed to do is just be one step ahead of that. That was the mistake I was making, I think, primarily. Because I think overall I was taking map control. My macro wasn't as good as it could have been. But overall, taking map control and then just, especially with Spiderbot. I mean, Spiderbot. I, I'm surprised how much I feel confident about my knowledge of Spiderbot. But I like Spiderbot. They're cool. Even though they're really weird to play because you have to know what your opponent's going to do and then completely dominate them in at one spot. You have to ambush them outright. And this map actually doesn't work super well for that. Surprisingly, it's just really wide. So you have to already set up. I probably should have. Should have set up air earlier. Definitely should have remembered that fleas work beautifully against any skirmisher type units. Seriously, that's the thing you want to use. And they were not screened rogues. They were just straightforward rogues. Not at all screened. That would have been perfect. Anyway, that's going to be it for me tonight. Because you know, three games seems to be a pretty good number for these sorts of things. So, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. And I will... That'll be it. So yeah, thanks for watching. Have a good night, everyone.